assalamu alaikum today uh, i'm going to discuss numerical differentiation okay uh, numerical differentiation uh, we have two methods okay one is the diff function and one more is the gradient so both will give you the numerical derivative not exact derivative the values the slope of a function at a given point okay so let's come to a uh, diff function and before that i can show you like matlab can do symbolic differentiation also the one you learn in calculus a symbolic variable s y m s x so x is going to be your more independent variable okay it's a bit slow i'm using cloud okay and then i can say okay y equals if i want to differentiate sin x okay and then derivative d is diff y that's it oh it's really slow so differential of sin x is cosin x okay and i can show you some complicated function if y okay so this is the symbolic differentiation but we'll come to the main our topic numerical differentiation and first of all i will apply the diff function okay diff function will give you the derivative at a given point okay so suppose okay let me write a new script okay uh, new script uh, first of all if any function you want to differentiate let's write as anonymous function f of at x equals for example x square plus 5x okay and then the value of x at which you want to differentiate from where to where at which point so suppose 1 to 5 for example okay x is 1 uh, 1 to 5 then i need to calculate the value of y or f uh, y at all the x given 1 to 5 then d is the derivative value using diff function diff of y diff of y will be vector diff of x will be vector so i need to use dot okay element by element so 1 to 5 x i will take it as output to show you and let's see if i run this one okay i need to save this this is really slow okay uh, now i will just save with the file name and i if i run this one uh, x is 1 to 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 this is what i should get x is you can see 1 2 3 4 5 and d which is the derivative value so in x we have five points in d we have only four points so
so what does it mean it means it is giving not all those points okay so basically d and uh, d function give you the derivative value at midpoint of the interval so first derivative value 8 is basically midpoint of 1 and 2 so this is the derivative at 1.5 1 to 2 this is the value of derivative at 2 to 3 so 2.5 this is 2.5 okay this is 3.5 and this value is at 4.5 okay so now if you want to compare the values Uh, we can get the exact value okay uh, the by differentiation the symbolic differentiation so uh, exact derivative d e we can say what is the value of exact derivative x square is 2x plus 5 okay this is by calculus now i want to compare my numerical derivative values with the exact derivative value so as as i told you this derivative value and uh, the d by d function is at midpoint not at x so if i want to plot or see i i need to get the m x m the midpoint of m uh, of x okay so that will be uh, 1.5 the midpoints okay and 2.5 3.5 4.5 so your derivative values are at those points okay so now if I want to plot uh, xm the value of uh, midpoint of x and the corresponding d value numerical value okay and at the same point point i will ca uh, calculate the exact value exact differential de so that we can see how close are they xm and d and then xm then de okay and then let's use some other bullet point for this and now let me run this and see this is old graph uh, okay I have error uh, not same length xm Ah, okay and the exact derivative in term of x so i should change this in term of xm okay so the exact derivative uh, it will calculate at all those midpoints so now i run it So now you can see uh, these are the two bullet points you can see and they are the same so what I said these are the derivative values at the midpoints 1.5 2.5 3.5 and 4.5 can you see it clearly they are two different bullets okay even uh, let me change the bullet just I uh, will use uh, something different okay now let's see yeah so you can see one of them is triangular there is a star so those values calculated and we can uh, by numerically and calculated by exact differentiation both all are the same okay 
now let's do for a little bit more complicated one and if i want to differentiate uh, suppose uh, a sinusoidal function sin x plus cos x okay and then i will make the i need a smooth graph okay so i need to make from like okay one to five okay it's fine but i will make a smaller a step size okay now xm for the earlier one i did it manually right xm now see i have chosen very small interval size so almost impossible for me to get those points midpoints so what we can do we can generate the midpoints like this x 1 2 n minus 1 okay plus x 2 2 n so each time 1 x1 1 plus x2 divided by 2 okay divided by 2 so it will create the midpoint between all these points x1 plus x2 divided by 2 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 2 x3 plus x4 divided by 2 so it will create all the midpoints from here to here from 1 to 1.001 plus next plus next okay so this is done now de the exact differentiation is sin x is cosine x okay and cosine x is minus sin x uh, okay that's it and let me run is running okay I have and define vector n oh okay so I didn't define the n what is n n is the number of data point in x so n equals length of x okay Uh, okay, must be same length line a x okay d e again d e in term of x so i need to change the in term of x m same mistakes okay got it Okay, I don't have any error. I should get the graph. Yes. So cosine x minus sine x, you can see I have the data point too small. So the uh, both of them are coinciding. So I will make it a little bit smaller so that we can recognize maybe 0 0.2. So star 1 is the exact i can make uh, use of legend so first one is analytical okay analytical the second one is diff function numerical uh, so, uh, sorry d this is the first one d is the numerical right okay that's fine
yes now you can see this looks much better so you can see that a numerical derivative and analytical derivative they are very close okay um, so this is a diff function okay 